Now to a concern for many parents. A stomach bug is making its rounds in our area, especially in South Jersey. The virus is known for spreading easily from person to person and comes with very unpleasant symptoms. Action News reporter Trish Hartman. She's live for us now in Camden with the full story. Trish. Well, sorry, this isn't necessarily unusual for the time of year, but that doesn't make it any less pleasant to deal with. People are getting sick with these stomach issues. We spoke with the doctor about how best to handle it. With two young ones, it's it's inevitable. You know, you're going to you're going to have that stuff, but yeah, just Lysol. The stomach bug that's been going around struck the Joiner household last week in Cherry Hill. My two year old is uh, was dealing with some stomach issues last week. Um, his whole daycare seems to be having issues and they're not alone. According to data from the CDC, the northeast region of the US has the highest positivity rate right now for norovirus, which causes vomiting, diarrhea and stomach cramps. This line shows the pattern over the past two years trending up right now, just as it did around this time last year. Doctors at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia have noticed several gastrointestinal viruses circulating in the community. Earlier this month, this primary school in Middlesex County, New Jersey, closed because of a gastrointestinal illness outbreak, receiving a deep cleaning before reopening for class. It is incredibly contagious. Just one particle of the norovirus that you ingest will get you sick. Dr. Oh, Alfred Sacchetti from Virtua Our Lady of Lords Hospital says these viruses spread easily, especially among kids. He also says GI viruses tend to be resistant to hand sanitizers that many rely on to wash up. Purell and that type of stuff, the alcohol based stuff doesn't get through the envelope of the virus and it's still contagious on your hands. Soap and water is the only thing that will really protect you from this. Now, doctors say one of the biggest things to watch out for with these illnesses is dehydration. And while many people deal with these awful symptoms at home, they say if you can't keep any fluids down for an extended period of time and you're getting lethargic, it's probably time to go get checked out by a doctor. Reporting live in Camden, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Okay, Trish, thank you.